everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a mermaid tail in PMX Editor. So let's start. Here I have the base that I will use for the mermaid tail. First, go to Edit Mode, select Simple Primitive Add. I recommend a base for this, specifically the base that you're going to be using for the mermaid tail. Then select Pillar and select Adding. Now we have a cylinder, which we're going to need. So now select the end vertices that are at the edge of the cylinder. Make sure that you leave this window open, you're going to need it later. Once you have the vertices selected, go to Edit, go to Selected Vertices, and then Delete Vertex Off, and then Yes. This will delete the front and back faces, we're not going to need them. Now go to the Material tab, and then go to Pillar which is what's going to be our new mermaid tail. Then remove the outlines and select double sided. Now we can see it from the inside. Select all of it and then rotate it face up. Now using the Y scale, bring it upwards and try to adjust it to where you want your mermaid tail to be and the length of the mermaid tail. Once you're done with that, use the C scale to scale it a bit. Not too much since we're gonna adjust this later. Same with the X scale. Once you're done, we're gonna start from the top. Now we're gonna need a new window. Go here and then select Advance. Press Start. Click one side and then drag it across where you're gonna cut. We're gonna create some cuts here so that we can manipulate the cylinder more. So create a cut along and this will create a cut of vertices. Then press start again to disable it. Using this little square right here that says scale, we're gonna scale, scale it a bit. Same with the one above to give it a sort of mermaid tail shape. Now we're going to create another cut. And here we're going to create another one. If you mess up, just press Ctrl Z. Or go up here and edit and select undo. the basic shape done, then you start scaling the rest. Once you're here in the end, if you don't need a line of vertices, you can just go ahead and delete it. Then for the last last portion of the mermaid tail, you're going to select the vertices and press Ctrl J. This will join them all together as a single vertice. Then just keep adjusting. Once you're done, you're going to notice this mess at the side. Now we're going to start adjusting the mermaid tail from the side. For this, you're going to be using the C scale. Try to bring the upper part of the mermaid tail as near to the body as possible. have something that you like, we're going to create another pillar. This is going to be our fins. Select one of the edge of the vertices and then press Ctrl J. Select 
the other side and control J. Using the scale, separate it a bit, select everything and rotate facing upwards again. Go to the front view and move the, what's going to be your fins to the side. We're going to adjust this, adjust this pillar to give it the shape of a fin using the scale button. Once you have something that you like, go to the side, select everything, and then we're going to make it thinner with the C scale. Now that we have our fin, I'm going to move it to the other side, then lower it down, and then use the X to adjust even more to what I want. Now put it close to where the fin is going to be. But now we need the other one. In the selection, go to M to select the surface of the mesh and select the entire model. Separate it a little bit since we're going to mirror it and go to Edit, Select Object and Mirror Object. If you want them both separate, separate it, you're going to have to separate it yourself as it's going to be one single material. So select the other part and go to the material of the pillars and then Right click and select the new material separation and then yes. This will separate them and then you can adjust them individually. Put them close together and adjust them to their positions. If you have something that you like, you can add the colors by selecting the materials. Click in the little boxes and just adding the color that you want. In order to remove the legs, select the body material and then select the vertices a bit below the hip line, a bit below where you can see the end of the mermaid tail. Then go to edit, select vertices and delete vertex off and then press yes. Make sure you cut it properly. And once you're done, make sure you also delete the bones of the legs, as you won't be needing them anymore. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you want to get notified for more tutorials. Bye bye.